heading uh, heading out to Bainbridge from uh, almost at the Ballard uh, drawbridge up ahead. I was able to find this little pole out here that has a blackberry bush growing on it with exactly one oh sh one ripe red blackberry. Oh, oh, hold on. It's tasty. Okay, it's a little tired, honestly, but it's good. And here's the Ballard uh, drawbridge. Uh, it's a little hard to read that sign. I think it says that it was built in 1966. Uh, we'll go with that. Yeah, yep, yeah, MCMXVI. I'm pretty sure that's 1966. Could be wrong. Uh, yeah. That, that Blackberry was not fun, by the way. After I picked it, I ended up getting slammed by a wave into the thorns. It was not fun, but live and learn. Here we got the salmon run on the right. Well, you really can't see it. And some other boats are going back into the locks. All right, looks like we've hit the ocean, open ocean once and for all. Off to uh, Discovery Park and then Bainbridge. All right, yeah, I took a break to stretch out and grab a snack while uh, at, at uh, Discovery Park. And the lighthouse is up there. I'll kayak by it in a minute. And yeah, it should be a three mile kayak to Bainbridge across the water. Back there, that's Ballard. And Golden Gardens. Uh, some good waves today. It's kind of surprising. It's pretty windy. Maybe one foot swells or something like that. We'll see how it goes. Alright, here's the lighthouse at uh, Discovery Park. 
Classic Mount Rainier view from Discovery Park. Oh, hold on. There, how's that? Alright, I would guess I'm halfway to Bainbridge, probably a little less. Yeah, so the, it, the waves are pretty big. And uh, I'm not able to go straight across because if I do, uh, waves will come into the kayak a little bit and it's kind of annoying but uh, yeah that's uh, Discovery Park back there so, hold on. dry off the screen yeah so yeah overall it's not that bad yeah but uh, hopefully I'll be there in a little bit alright so yeah I'm about 10, 15, 20 minutes from Bainbridge still. But yeah, you can see Mount Baker, I just realized over there. There's some sailboats out, it's pretty nice. And uh, there's the view. Oh, hold on. The view of Mount Rainier back, back there as well. Still, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, yeah, basically what I was saying though is that I have to, I have to paddle at a diagonal. Uh, instead of just going straight to Bainbridge, I'm just gonna like zigzag so that I don't get hit by a huge wave like this one. Yeah, so you're supposed to go at a 45 degree angle to avoid. Yeah, see we, we almost had some water come over the bow there, but we didn't because we were at a 45 degree angle, so yeah. Yeah, so Bainbridge ended up being a lot further than I thought after that last recording. Um, yeah, also I totally missed the cape that I was supposed to go to. I, I just sort of guessed the direction and yeah, so it ended up taking another 10 to 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, the view is great and the waters are much calmer now that I'm over at Bainbridge. It's, uh, every, uh, yeah, after, Decept after Discovery Park and probably the first two thirds of the sound are really choppy and then once you get over here it's pretty pretty calm smooth sailing or kayaking but yeah you can see Mount Rainier you can see downtown Seattle uh, I don't know if you can see in this video but you can see the top of the Space Needle sticking up over Queen Anne or sorry no Magnolia well both of them really but the one you can see is Magnolia in the front there's Discovery Park. You can kind of see this like white bubble. That's the white bubble on the on the top of the ridge of those uh, that hill. That's the uh, radar tower at Discovery Park. And then yeah, you can see Ballard, the Ballard, um, what, yeah, Ballard uh, Shipyard or whatever. And then or Ballard Marina. And then the uh, yeah, you can't really see. But Golden Gardens is over there. And then yeah, you can see the Cascades. And then all the way up there, you can see Mount Baker maybe. Hopefully, I can see it, but yeah. And then uh, yeah, I think Bainbridge still goes up north about a mile or two. I might explore north and then I'll head back down to this cape here and then cross over again around sunset. See you soon. Oh yeah, by the way, this part of Bainbridge is just a giant cliff. I was hoping I would find a park here and somewhere I could jump out of my kayak, but uh, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> so I'll figure it out. But yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. There's the bald eagle. Wow. Oh, and here's a heron over here. Flying on the, just above the water. Made it to the northern end of Bainbridge. Uh, Fay Bainbridge Park. Made it to the northern end of Bainbridge, 
Fane, Fay Bainbridge Park and there's Mount Rainier, Seattle yeah it's beautiful, you can't see Mount Baker anymore but it's a nice park, it's getting close to sunset, 10 minutes away alright it's about 10 o'clock and I'm heading to Bainbridge this is or heading back from Bainbridge back to Discovery Park this is a lot later than I would have liked but it's still a little light out oh my god there's a harbor seal fucking creeping on me god there's they've been doing this Park and uh, yeah, you can see the uh, lighthouse and uh, yeah, you can kind of see the comet. I don't know if you can see it in the GoPro video, but yeah, it's cool. It's nice. Yeah, I, when I landed on the beach, I uh, parked the kayak right next to an otter without realizing it because it was dark and the otter freaked out. We both freaked out. It's pretty unusual coincidence.